You know what I realized? A lot of bad games came out this year, and I didn't play any of them because too many good games came out this year. And I'm kind of sad because I love to play bad games. Name three, name four, how about we name 10? These are the top 10 worst games of 2023. I don't know them. I actually didn't get to see them, so this is gonna be my first exposure, and I want to know. I actually am curious, I didn't know Redfall. <laughs> I didn't know this one. I, uh, my, my friend Tito, kept texting me is like, when are we hopping on that Redfall? Are we getting on Redfall? Completely genuine. We hopping on Redfall, bro? And I did... No, man. I don't... <laughs> I don't think we are, dude. Rocky City. Dude, I was so excited for this game. Because it looked funny. It had, like, Chuck Norris in it or whatever. Yeah, in man. Cases, this game is funny. Is it? Like, actually funny? He's it looks like Payday, but with Chuck actors. Chuck Norris, Danny Glover, and Kim Basinger. But once people got oh, to it's try funny, it, but they not found the play. it to be oh, quite no, hollow. I, there are a lot of, like, extraction shooters, and I don't get it. It feels Number like eight. a thing Estimate that shouldn't be a genre. Of high human. <laughs> Is that the guy when that got shot? To... Go, oh, <laughs> that thing hurt. The developers fumbled the ball in nearly every category. I hate puzzles. The story about a king <laughs> by his evil brother never goes beyond exactly Nature father, yeah. The tree man. Yeah! This year was weird, because, like, I don't know about you guys, but it felt impossible to tell if a game would be good or bad. Like, I, I was thrown for a loop repeatedly. Like, this trailer came out, and I was like, wow, that looks really shitty, but it's arcane, so I trust them, and I bet it'll be good. And then it comes out, and it's awful. And then Liza P trailer comes out, and I'm like, wow, that looks okay, but it's by a team that is, it's their first game, and it is a Pinocchio Souls game. That's going to be awful, and it was amazing. Like, Rocksteady is making the Suicide Squad game, and apparently it's a doozy. <laughs> Suicide Squad doesn't have a single player mode on watch, that, on launch. That can't be true, right? How can that be true? Do they not have AI for the fork? How did you paint yourself into this corner? Number five, Grey Hill Incident. <laughs> oh, is this the alien game? Dude, this looked funny though. While some players Yeah, there he is. Get him! For its atmosphere, <laughs> the indie survival horror game has almost yeah. nothing else to offer. It's just an Players alien walking at you. Proven right when his son it's so fucking aliens. funny, is Many it? Many may use the term walking simulator derogatorily. I missed the boat on this game. Exactly I should have played it when it came out, yeah, dude. Oh yeah, there the alien no blowjob game. The what? I think you played a different game. Did you play this game and Steam was like, you might also like... I missed out on a Number lot four, of bad games Avatar, this year. The Last Airbender, Quest for Balance. The Do what? Gay Mill. Oh, man. As a Nasby fan, a Nasby enthusiast, it breaks my heart to see Game Mill slandered. This came out a month before Nasby 2. Really? Series and completely I know that they struggled. Many they put out a few... Text screens, they put out the Kong game, which might show up later. Order. Oh, my God, it's Subway Surfers. The Walking Dead Destinies. Wait. This one, this one's not go. <laughs> I was like, wait a minute. I think this one's game mill too. And sure enough, there it is. Okay. All right. Who put out Gollum? Who made Gollum? Because I know Kong. They're going to be three of the top four. But did they do Gollum? The game mill is cooking. The player change them they be the making games, bro. Skull Island. Let's go. <laughs> Beat his ass, Kong. Yeah, beat his ass! Grab his tail! Get him, King Kong! Is this game in watercolor? When Rise of Kong was released, one particularly I haven't bad seen any gameplay. Viral. Well, we're here to tell you that that's only the tip of the iceberg. <laughs> Get out Kong of his head! <laughs> what is this art style? Are this is what Breath of the Wild looks like to me. Oh, it's an artistic choice. Oh, yeah? Looks Even to me like something's not rendering. 20 years ago. Destroy the nest! The Kill those cra- Is he just fighting animals? This is just Donkey Kong Jungle Beat. Why do they all want to kill him? Why is everybody fighting King Kong? Oh yeah, there's a Shrek Before kart racing continue, game. Yeah, sure more game mill. Wait, really? <laughs> is that what it said? <laughs> Bro, they be making some games though. They really make some games. How many games did they make this year? Hold on. You know, this doesn't seem that crazy. Big Buck Hunter, Big... They made Big Rigs? No. Oh, my God. How prestigious. 
I did not know that. We are in the presence of royalty. Why did they just come back? So all of this shit came out this year. <laughs> Game Mill put out Big Rigs and Big Buck Hunter, and then they went away for a while, and then they had the, the hardest 2023 of anybody out there. They put out the most games. Number one, the Lord of the Rings, <laughs> Gollum. Okay, but the box art went so hard for this, though. Like, this was a game... Hold on. This game, again, I, I, I said that I wasn't able to tell if a game was good or not. Is this not the craziest, like, splash image you've ever seen? It looks so good. I was like, who wants a Gollum game? And then I saw that, and I was like, damn. I might actually want that. They made it look cool. Down There's you, in, your intuition, as as Gollum. This. Use your intuition and heightened and senses. Trilogy, That's what I want to do when I play Gollum. Reclaim the one ring. Pro has Batman vision. Walk, yeah, why hide, does he have detective hide, vision? This ass is detective. About it. I watched That's a little bit of this game to see if it would visuals. even be funny. The it game didn't so look funny. I love bad games. Really. I need a bad game to be fun bad. What's a fun bad game? Um, Ride to Hell Retribution. Is that what it was? Popeye. Yep, that's another one. Balan for a little bit. Gorilla number one, bear number two. Let's find out what the top ten strongest animals in the world are, shall we? Welcome to Watch Mojo. Oh fuck and yeah, we got Ryan on the track. Strength, Love that. Love Ryan on it. And the big males battle for the best fishing spots. It probably is just a bear, right? Like being honest, it's probably just a bear. <laughs> a sperm whale is so loud you will explode. As heavy as an elephant. He won't. What? Like, like, are we talking about strength of like their voice or their screaming? Is that what they do? They consume four tons of krill per day. I don't think whales count because they're huge and big and like they get around like that anyway. And they're in the water. I feel like if you take the whale out of the ocean, if it was able to move around on land, I would think it was pretty strong. But anything can move in the ocean. You know what I'm saying? I don't think it's that strong. It's been estimated that a blue whale can carry up to 13,900 pounds of weight. For yeah, comparison, but that's around three and a half giraffes. Okay, but he's also 150 tons. That doesn't count. That's not the same, man. If an animal is huge, then it's not strong. It's just big. We should have weight classes. Number nine, tiger. Well, lions have a bite force of 650 pounds per square inch or PSI. Uh -huh. While tigers produce 1,050 PSI. They're just so muscular, man. A whale could easily defeat a tiger. See, this is what I'm talking about. We have to have weight classes. If the whale just... The, but where are they fighting? Wait a minute. This is important. Is the tiger swimming? <laughs> Coney Google a liger. Isn't that the same thing? It's just a mix of the two. Dude, a liger is just a lion. <laughs> it's just, the lion genes are stronger. Ew, it's like fat, though. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like if you threw that thing like on its back, it would land with a big thump. Sperm whales make sounds that are 230 decibels so loud that it will literally vibrate you to death. Yeah, but that sounds like it would feel kind of good though. Like until a certain point, like it, like not, not until you die, right? But like, imagine getting vibrated at like a hundred decibels. Like, there's probably a vibration sensation where your bones start going like, and it's like, oh, this is kind of good. I see the vision, don't let them haunt you. Yeah, they're hung because they don't have undo. Just think about it. Anaconda. Besides How big, infamy, though? Aren't they just like a big muscle? It's just like a one long, big muscle that could just squeeze you really hard, right? The biggest on record weighed 500 pounds. But how does it get around you if you wear it? Long. Green I think it has to catch you feet on large animals. They swim? I'm not a whale. <laughs> He's not going to catch me. Constricting tighter and tighter oh, until God. the blood supply is cut off. Seven, See, this is what I'm talking about, ants. man. We're talking yeah, about like ants and shit, insects, dude. That doesn't count. I would kill that thing easy. World. And if they weren't so small, humans would probably be doomed. These leaf He's so ants. strong. Wow. He cut up a leaf and then carried it. He's making a salad. Very powerful. You Around put that ant in the water, well beats it every time. Why is it three higher? <laughs> he can eat your pillow? Oh no, I got no rest before fight night. Weighing he ate my pillow and now I'm sleepy. Pounds, 
they could lift something that was 9,900. <laughs> if they weren't that small, but they are. Eat shit, Mojo. That's what I'm saying. Mojo is just on this theory craft bullshit. But what if they were 10 feet tall? With their jaws vibrating 1,000 times per second. There it is again. I know that shit feel good. I know it does. If I could get vibrated 1,000 times a second, I would be so happy. This shit's strong. I will concede. I, he looked kind of strong. Three slots. Elephants are already an intimidating sight. I'm intimidated. Tempers can flare. I think I could fuck up an elephant, but as soon as you add those tusks, it's over. You take the tusks away, I think it's even. Could go either way. Thankfully, elephants are herbivores. Otherwise, we humans might have had a serious problem. Well, we did. They were mammoths. But we won because we made spears and tools. Number five, saltwater crocodile. No, but they lose, right? You just close their... They discovered the bite force a saltwater crocodile can produce. Yeah, it doesn't Before count, this, though, the highest was 2,980 PSI. Like, a rubber band alligator. holds it but close. The saltwater... Yet that still might not be the highest amount amongst the big <laughs> reptiles. <laughs> Why do they sit around soy jacking? Well, I, I, I've seen a lot of pictures of crocodiles sitting around soy jacking. Like, they got a rare Funko. I don't know why it's... Like why they sit with their mouths open? Wait, Turning what? Side on. No way, four. dude. Four, dude? Four? Gorilla. The silverbacks posture to each other, turning <laughs> what is he side on to Stop. show their four. Turn mouth. around. Another turn around. He's trying to get me banned. Oh, it's by weight. Number three is chimp. Chimp, orangutan, baboon are top three. Weighing up to why around 590 pounds like that? in the wild, gorillas what pack a lot of power behind their fur. He places himself between the smaller male and the rest of the family. <laughs> is he walking is sideways? Bonus. On average, they can lift objects that weigh a thousand pounds. Yet their punch is even more impressive. I was going to say, do gorillas can strike punch? Up to 150 Has anybody taught a horse. gorilla how to Yet punch? Gorillas can punch up to 2,700. Number three, oh grizzly bear. No way they're right next to each other. Are you serious? Are you they had to be right next to each other. Attempted to hug a grizzly. Okay, but you know what though? You know what though? Gorilla is smarter. How about top ten smartest animals? Guess the remaining top three. Bear, if it if it says mantis shrimp, the ants, strongest they mammals did on the planet. Ain't. The biggest claiming the best Rhino. spots. In 2006, a study by rhino Montana probably. State University They're not doing hippo. found the bears were hippo able doesn't to easily count. Probably play rhino. with an object weighing 700 pounds. And they then some really obscure something that lifts like 50 times its own weight Long that is really small. Not an ant. I will bet you five gifties it's not hippo. There's no hippo. Only five? <laughs> what do you want from me? Come on, Christmas is over, chat. You're not getting free gifties like that. Number two, eagle. Huh? A bird? You I would fuck a up a bird, man. What are you As talking such, about? They have the hollow bones. Around. I don't even need a weapon. Typically, the harpy eagle has lifted up to 20 pounds. On top of the eagle's oh, wow. lightning 20 100 pounds. miles per hour dive. Couldn't imagine picking that up. That's crazy. That's another big concern. Before we unveil our top eight. <laughs> it's an honorable mention. It's not top ten. Honorable you are mentions. seething. I know you're so mad. I know you are so mad. PSI, Pay it out. Five gifties right lunch. now. Five gifties this instant. Ten gifties on Orca. Dung beetle. <laughs> I fucking told you. It's a stupid fucking bug, let alone one that literally shovels around poop. It just pushes around a big ball of poop, and everybody's like, wow, it's so strong. I can't. I wish I was a dung beetle. Look how powerful he is. Yeah. Dung beetle no diffs the whale. I mean, if they're on land, then the dung beetle just pushes him around. He pushes him away from the ocean. Backwards. None of them can match the size-to-strength ratio of the humble dung beetle. Rob how Mal. heavy is animal poop? <laughs> Found that the is that shit dense? Taurus, better known as the Taurus is that like a bowling ball? How big is that? And where is he going with it? Its own what do they do with that? And that's said to be the equivalent of a single human dragging six double-decker buses filled with other people. <laughs> okay, Jesus Christ. Maybe he is the strongest. That is actually insane, but realistically, how the hell are they going to drag a fucking bus or whatever the fuck? <laughs> how is that beetle going to drag a bus? For real. These are, oh God. Oh God, I hope I have no sponsorships coming up. Because these are the top 10 worst soda and energy drinks for your health. Listen, I have a younger audience that is into these sugary beverages, and it is my responsibility to guide you guys in the right direction. And considering I do not have an active beverage sponsor, I think it's important 
to to sort of see what's out there. Number nine, sun kissed fruit punch. <laughs> get yourself a twenty ounce. I love it when we get into like the really obscure, like not just sun kissed, but like a specific flavor, and we say fuck that guy. What we do know is that downing just one bottle of the stuff will mean a three hundred calorie hit and eighty <laughs> grams of sugar. Pretty soon you've got a big pile. It's of sugar. time to fuel Nobody up, would bro. Eat that much sugar. But they are in liquid form. Every single soda? No, that's not true. Not every soda has 300 calories. That's ridiculous. Holy shit, dude. Five hour energy. Did you know that the recommended serving of a five hour energy drink is just half the tiny two ounce bottle? When your battery's running low, grab a five hour energy. Half of that? Half of this? I think five hour energy came out in like my college years, which was uh, very bad for me. But when I was at, at school, I downed the shit out of these, man. But I pounded these things down. Only four calories and sugar-free? A lady at my church <laughs> had six five-hour energies in one night in college and was bedridden for weeks. Yeah, that's 30 hours of energy. What is she doing? That's over a day at once. Who needs 30 hours of energy right now? <laughs> Guy who, who has the life hack... Fills up a keg with five-hour energy and just stays awake for the rest of his life. Never sleeps again. However, the levels per bottle of, say, B12 are 20,000% times the daily recommended numbers. Not to mention... That, that should sound pretty good, actually. I'm stocked up for weeks. Potentially links Give me that vitamin B. And 20 consumer deaths. The manufacturers oh, well, not if it's going to kill me. These are just claims. And there's are no you allergic to vitamin between B? between the drinks and the deaths. <laughs> Holy shit. Who needs vitamin B12 with cyanocobalamin? 8,000%. <sighs> vitamin B go up. Number six, Rockstar. Hey, now, really? you're drinking Rockstar. You're intaking a lot of caffeine and but, sugar. What about, no, yep, the red one, the red one, zero sugar, huh? What about the red one, zero sugar? That shit gets me through my Las Vegas trips. That shit pretty good. Fully charged with B vitamins. <laughs> B vitamins. That's the one. Yep, red and white. Yep. Yup, give me that one. Drink. Give me that. Okay, That's for so me. Right there on the right. The zero fruit punch. Delicious. Yup. And 63 grams of sugar, which is crazy high. And while their extra and skew mm. is sugar free, it has 300 milligrams of caffeine. Holy shit. I was going to say, ah, foolish watch mojo, but you have forgotten the sugar free version. And then they kind of spun it on me on that. Oh. <laughs> I don't know if I'm drinking the 300 milligrams one. That's a little crazy. You know, it's weird because, like, I feel like all these came out the same month. Like, bang, rain, um, bucked up. You guys ever have a bucked up? I got one of these. It was a pre-workout, and it was uh, white gummy deer. I am not eating that. I got one of these, and it was a uh, gummy worm, but... Eating a fucking gummy worm before you work out is an awful idea. I was throwing up by, like, the sixth workout. Because, like, the pre-workout gummy worm was, like, it was, like, I associated it with sweat and exhaustion because I, I worked out to failure. So every time I drink the gummy worm, my brain was, like, pavloving it into, like, oh, I need to vomit. So, yeah, don't get the gummy worm. Why are you so stupid? I wanted to try something new. You guys never explored beyond your your... Conventional means? You guys never tried anything new or different? Come on. Mountain Dew. Before you go and do the do, let us walk you through what it is you'll actually be doing. I know Mountain body. Dew is fucked Spoiler up. Spoiler alert, yeah. it isn't anything good. Mountain Dew tastes like Sprite. Don't listen to the feds. You should get your tongue checked. Go see a doctor. I hate it when people don't know that shit. When people say that Coke and Pepsi taste the same, I'm like, I can't trust anything you say ever again. That's ridiculous. Bottle containing 77 grams of the stuff. And they don't skim Sprite on the doesn't even either. have caffeine. Going back to the Baja Blast is, is good, but it's a little overrated because it's a special treat. Oh, no! <laughs> we are a little afraid of drinking too much Not the rehabs, though, right? Not the rehabs! Dude, green, green monsters this. are disgusting. I don't know how anybody drinks them, seriously. You'll rehabs are so good, though. Caffeine, 210 calories, and three rehabs are actually good for you? Oh, let's go! Yes! Yes! Finally! I bet that guy's a doctor. Doctor in chat. Thank you. There the peach pieces. tea one is the best. Hey, I'll drink that, chatter. <laughs> Bottoms up. I get these delivered once a month. I love this shit. Stop drinking those. No, make me. Number one, Red Bull. I 
thought they were the good one. They had one wish, would wish that they could fly. Red Bull <laughs> gives you wings. Is that why they're bad? How and there's the fact that many folks like to combine Red Bull with alcohol, which can increase high-risk behavior as Red Bull can make you feel less drunk than you are. Really, all you're doing is right, sending I your guess. body mixed messages. That. And so that shit just, that, that kills your inhibitions? Like, more than regular alcohol that makes you feel stronger? That shit's like a power-up. Take away from this video, literally just drink water. That's what everybody says, man. These are the top 10 fast food secrets that will never be revealed! Stop asking me! I'm never gonna tell you, and neither will they! What are the top 10 secrets that will never, ever be revealed to the public once? The skin. <laughs> the chicken with cheese? That's not a secret. I don't think they mean, like, secret menu things. You could just order those. <laughs> The state of New York. <laughs> Welcome to Watch Mojo. As they were stupid. counting down fast I'm food facts it's that silly are kept down low, hidden, hard to access, just but hard to believe. Chicken <laughs> and pancakes. Thank you, Isaac. Like, so just ask for this? Oh, never yeah. mind. I guess it. I guess it is secret items. Chicken and waffle. Damn, that actually does look good. Wait, is that a McGriddle with a? Wait, I need to set an alarm for tomorrow. <laughs> this secret will be revealed. You know what I'm saying? Like. Don't worry, everyone. I will tell all on tomorrow's stream if I make it. A whopper of an issue. Burger King employees. Yeah, where's the fucking meat? That's my se the secret I want to know. Where did you put the cow patty? It is cooked on the same grill as regular burgers. He's now filing a class action lawsuit oh. accusing Burger King of deceptive practices. Yeah, what, so what's the problem here? Just that the, the vegan whopper and the normal whopper on the same grill? I guess that's an issue. What's the secret? <laughs> that, were they on the same grill or not? We'll never know, okay. But here's a secret. In some Cinnabon stores, the enticing scent isn't just a byproduct of the baking process. It's a carefully crafted experience. They warm up baking sheets dusted with cinnamon and brown sugar to ensure that sweet aroma captivates every passerby. Okay, so to be clear, they cooked the food and it smelled good. They cooked it manipulatively. I can't. I mean, it's still the food smell, though. Well, malls embrace this aromatic strategy, as some have implemented aroma restrictions. It's a fascinating glimpse. Of the <laughs> aroma what? To create a sensory journey for mall go. Stop. Stop making the small the mall smell delicious. You can't smell Auntie Anne's or Wetzel's. Enough. That delectable blizzard, cone, or parfait from Dairy Queen might not be what you traditionally think of as ice cream. Oh, yeah? How do you know what I think is ice cream? That shit looked like a dairy treat. Falling short of the FDA's requirement of at least 10% milk fat for a product to be officially labeled as ice cream. Wait. <laughs> dairy Queen. It's not 10% dairy? At Dairy Queen? What are we putting in it? It's legally transparent about this distinction, openly sharing the information on its website FAQ section, where it clarifies, technically our soft serve does not qualify to be called ice cream. Yeah, wait a minute, that's not a secret. <laughs> They just, said, they just said they're very transparent about it on their website, but who looks at that? It's on the site. It's not a secret. They said it themselves. Bro. The truth is out there. Oh, that looks so Craving good. It really does. A breakfast burger. McDonald's breakfast burger. Check it out right there. I want that so bad. Oh, my God. That's a real egg. Guys, that's a real egg. McDonald's uses real eggs. Eggs on burgers are my fucking kryptonite. I love that shit. That looks like ass? No! It's a McDonald's. Dude, I bet that shit is good. And it has an egg, so it's probably good for you. When it comes to drive throughs you may not. Wait, Wait do they have a camera looking at you? TikTok, capturing the reactions of drive through customers as she serenaded them during their order pickups. That's right. Oh, the I don't like that. See you. Oh, I don't like that. Me and the drive through I'm just like... <laughs> My, my, I am not camera ready. I'm just, uh, I'm barely functioning. When I'm at the first window, I lock in. I'm like, all right, time to be a grown up. No end to the spin. Do you think you're in control? Immune to ordering more when you don't feel like it? Technological makeovers, restaurants what, around the globe. What is this like an upsell thing? Upsells are well, not a secret here's the thing. When you opt for a self-service kiosk instead of the drive-through or counter at restaurants, expect that you might end up spending around 20% more. It's not just a coincidence. Really? These kiosks are cleverly programmed to upsell, suggesting additional items to enhance your order. If you've ever used a kiosk, you probably huh. notice it's a lot easier to upcharge you. Huh? Because you're not embarrassed to be a fat ass. <laughs> What's in the box? Before you zoom away from the drive-thru, it's a good idea to take a quick peek and double-check your dinner order. The chances of order errors spike significantly during the dinner rush. 
the wrong sauce on an okay. order of Sonic Chicken Tenders reaching a boiling point at Southeast 44th and Sunny Lane. Not news, by the way. Why are we... <laughs> Why is this on the local news? Where do you live? It sounds very safe. Sense. Oh, that's your fault. You ate it, Sonic, dude? <laughs> Bro, ate it, Sonic. I can't. Her frustration exploded into frenzy. Nobody so ever it seems like there. a bit of extra vigilance might save you from any unexpected surprises when you're unwrapping your to-go meal. What the fuck is going on here? I thought we were talking about wrong orders. Feel in the evening hustle. What happened? Do you know any fast food secrets? Let us know. That's not in the a secret. Below. <laughs> the kiosk is a People great way to get you moving in and out of that restaurant right, very yeah. quickly. And the the, the secret was sometimes they get orders wrong. Order and spend a little. What more is money wrong along with this way. movie? Did you enjoy this video? Oh. Wow, that was a tough one. That was not a great video. Not a great movie. All right, what's the number one anime crotch shot?